Hey guys, what is up? It's Trigger Life, and I'm bringing you Homefront today. Uh, it's an amazing game. I just got the demo of it, and I'm loving it. Online, it's just, ah, I love it so much. Um, I'm having so much fun with it. I fail here, but uh, don't worry. I, I, I rape. I rape some serious asshole in this in this uh, <laughs> gameplay. If only one downside to Homefront, I actually think this could be a serious competitor of Call of Duty if it um, would maybe have. I don't know if it's, this is just in the demo, but if maybe it would have uh, small some smaller maps. Maybe there is uh, some game types that are better for this, these bigger maps, or maybe there are some uh, game types that are, or maybe there are some maps that are smaller. Sorry, but then this this other part right here is vehicles. I hate vehicles in this game. The only reason being. They should really, you know what, even if they had tanks, I'd be kind of alright, but this is what I have ideal for this game. Personally, it'd be awesome if they had only Humvees, the things with the machine guns on the back, like the Jeeps, kind of. Yeah, if they had only Humvees, and then they also, and then the Humvees you killed in two shots. And then there's also the helicopters, uh, the, the airstrikes, all that's fine. But when you get to those tanks, like, I hit tanks four, five, six, seven times with a uh, with my rocket launcher there uh, you, I've pulled it I already pulled it out once and shot it at a vehicle and I won't get it and I won't destroy it like that's that's stupid that's a lot of shots and for me it kinda ruins the game that's why I'm on the edge about buying it and this is what's gonna push me over the edge or uh, keep me looking down that crevice so do you guys want to see more gameplay if you guys want to see gameplay I think I'll get the game off eBay it's like 30 bucks it's not that much uh, I'll get the game if you guys really want to see it but if you guys rather me stick to Halo slash Call of Duty, uh, then I won't get the game. So really, it's, this is this is in your hands, guys. Uh, even if you guys do want it, I still might not get it. I don't know. I'm really on the edge about this one. And maybe if you guys don't want it, I still might get it. So like it's, but you guys are still gonna kind of persuade which way I go with it. Um, and that was a lot longer of a rant than I expected to go to on <laughs> about this game. But yeah, this is fine. I think you know it's not too overpowered. You get two of these shots. And they're not super powerful. Uh, like I've gotten, I got a quad with this. I wasn't recording, unfortunately, but I got a quad with this. But that's unlikely. Uh, even if there's like four guys patched together, it is hard to get um, kills with it, which is which is pretty. It's, I think it's fair. You should get to one or two kills, and you have to build up to get it. And I think it's definitely worth it. But tanks, it's just they're super cheap for what you get with it. And uh, I really think they should either be patched or something at least maybe it's better in the actual game maybe i mean maybe you can unlock a better rocket launcher i don't know maybe you guys know more about it but that is enough about the good old home front um actually i'm gonna put a couple one couple more points if you haven't tried it out um i don't know if it's for the ps3 as well but on the xbox at least there's a multiplayer demo which is it's um you can go up to level 10 which i've already hit and it's an amazing uh, multi it basically it gives you these two maps uh, this one, and then another one that's kind of like over top of a highway, or underneath a highway, I mean. Uh, like a bridge. And you can get to, to level 10, and you can unlock stuff, and then, yeah, it's a multiplayer. And I definitely recommend at least trying it. Uh, I personally am having lots of fun with it. Uh, still on the edge about buying it, but it is looking like it should be uh, a buy for me. It just depends on if I feel like pushing out that money, because I also want to get some other stuff. I'm buying a new phone soon. Not that my phone sucks. My phone's actually amazing. But it's just it sucks for texting, <laughs> and that's pretty much all I do. I don't even use apps, so I think I'm gonna be getting a BlackBerry, because that's amazing for texting. And I think someone's texting me just as I speak. That's kind of ironic. And who is it? Who is this person texting me? Oh, it's my brother. Oh no, it's my mom. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Okay. And no, not only my mom and brother text me. I also get my dad to text me sometimes as well. It's Makes me feel like I have friends. All right, that was an insane amount of time spent on Homefront. Time to get to the other topics I wanted to get to. I just got back from a good old day with my good friend George. We went to go see Planet of the Apes, uh, as well with another friend Eric. And yeah, we went to go see Planet of the Apes. We chilled at uh, West Hills. I think I've talked about it before in my videos. Um, I'm on a tear right now, by the way. I'm destroying people's faces. It's pretty awesome. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we went to go see Planet of the Apes or Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Sorry. And it's an amazing movie. So I think it's my favorite movie this uh, year so far. It's super good. Uh, and if you're expecting, like, oh, it's just going to be another stupid action movie. I shouldn't even go see it. The first, like, hour and a half of that movie, there's, like, no action. It's pretty much all story. And the story's really well. Keeps you really intrigued. And it's not even boring. I'm actually, like, you're actually interested. 
I personally loved it. Uh, we'll see how it does in the box office. I hope it does amazing. I don't know if they're planning to reboot the series, or this is just supposed to be just before, and they're not planning to reboot it at all. If they are planning to reboot it, I really hope they don't mess it up. I hope they keep this kind of formula uh, with a good story and everything, but it might be hard to reboot uh, such a good such a good series. Uh, Planet of the Apes was... Uh, I haven't actually seen it in a while, but last time I did see it, I remember it was good times. <laughs> I should probably rewatch them, actually, because it'd be kind of cool after watching Rise of the Planet of the Apes. But that's that. And, oh, I guess this is touching on the home front kind of thing. So, the reason why I'm thinking of getting this is pretty much I have three more months, guys, and I don't think I can stick with Black Ops for another three months. I don't think I have it in me. So, because three more months pretty much till Modern Warfare 3, around three more months, give or take, you know, I don't, you know, I'm out of school. I don't need to do math. I just, I, I don't need to do it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, uh, the games I'm pretty, probably, blah, 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 blah. what I'm probably going to be getting is Modern Warfare 3, and then maybe, I don't know how I didn't see that guy, maybe Battlefield Bad Company, I mean, not Battlefield Bad Company, Battlefield 3. Depends on how uh, how many of my friends get it, because if no one's really getting it, then I'm, I'm all about online. I play a lot of online, and it's, yeah. This I almost get a quad, I think. Is that a double? And then I think I get a triple right here. Oh, no, I shoot at the vehicle. Right. Don't even know what's going on in this gameplay. <laughs> actually, I actually played this just this morning. Uh... And that's pretty much all the games on my list, other than Bioshock Infinite. Uh, Rage, I'm going to wait for at least reviews to come in before I uh, get that. And I found out it's not co-op. Only some parts of it are co-op. So I don't know how about, how I think about that. If the entire campaign was co-op, I'd pretty much 100% be getting it. But it's not, so I won't be... I'll definitely be waiting to see how that game does. Now, quick tips. You guys are probably noticing you haven't seen a quick tips video in a while. Uh, no one's really been anger, angered about it, but... I thought I should give you an update on that. I do. I did have enough product to make a new Quick Tips, but I don't know why. But stupid theater mode, theater mode on Black Ops didn't allow me to record uh, one of the games or one of the private matches where I had a bunch of uh, sp nade spots and stuff. Uh, someone was helping me out. I'll give him a shout out when I actually do release the Quick Tips video. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna redo it. Uh, apparently, he's found some new spaces, so I'm pretty excited for that. It's always good to get uh, feedback. If you are on Xbox and you're a subscriber and you know some awesome nade spots that I haven't shown that you don't think people know of, uh, definitely uh, add me. My my gamer leg is trigger. My my gamer leg. My gamer tag is trigger space live. Simple as that. I mean, uh, it's a, it's a very awesome gamer tag in my opinion. I, was just gonna be trigger. Trigger was actually free when I when I got the Xbox 360, but my stupid stepdad, he's like. Oh, we're gonna all play online because this is before, like this is when we first got the Xbox 360. We thought it was a family console and all that. And like, oh, we're all gonna play online. So just name it something that's not uh, just yours. I'm like, okay, Trigger Live's not too bad. And he's like, yeah. In exchange, I'll pay for Live every year. And I was like, sounds good. Uh, so I changed it to Trigger Live from Trigger. And he hasn't paid for Live ever. That bastard. <laughs> but uh, it's not too big of a deal. It's. Um, I think I have three more years left on my live account. I bought like three years for a hundred bucks or something. They had some kind of deal going on during Christmas, so I took advantage of that. Last thing, uh, yes, if you notice, I hadn't put up a video for like a day or maybe two. I don't know. And uh, sorry about that. I was chilling with my good bro uh, George, as I just said before, and I'm hoping to. This is this is downright absolute bullshit stupidness in the face. I have missed. The f last four parties. All high school parties, alright? I've missed the last four because I've been away. Two of them was, uh, no, no, no. Let me get this right. No, three? No, no, no I think I missed three. I want to make sure I get this right for you guys. I think I missed three straight parties. Three, uh, two of them, I was in Hawaii. I, I, was at, I was in Hawaii for the end of the year. Which is stupid. I'm never going on another vacation with my family again. I've gone with like I've gone with I've gone with them with probably over 30 vacations, and uh, to tell you the truth, I, uh, I this is gonna kind of sound cocky like oh I hate going to Hawaii. No, but I hate going to Hawaii with my family. I hate going on vacation with my family. I know that kind of sounds mean, uh, but they're just not interested in the same things I am. My brother is, but my parents aren't, and they obviously control the vacation, and it's just boring for me. Uh, when I'm older, hopefully I can go on vacations and stuff, uh, be a bit freer to do what I will, but, yeah, I missed three, uh, so I missed two vacations while in Hawaii, I mean, two parties while in Hawaii, and I missed, uh, last party, 
uh, just now when I was camping, there was a party, and I missed that. Ah, it's just it pissing me off. I hope there's another party soon. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, basically, that's why I haven't been putting up videos. Is Well, I have been putting up videos, but if, if I do, let's say, miss a day or two, it's probably because I'm chilling with some bros or partying or something like that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a nice week. Peace.